Greetings, minions, galactic survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Empyreon Galactic Survival Alpha 6.1, I believe. And this is episode number 11. Uh, good morning. Good Monday. Hello. Uh, it's actually evening now. It's about 32 seconds to sundown. So, you know, there you go. Alright, so before we get into building an HB, I really think I'm getting cramped in here. So we're going to expand out the base a little bit. Because uh, rushed and ill planned construction seems to be my downfall right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's just get cracking at it. Uh, in the meantime, I got. Promethium packs being made, and uh, and I'll have some steel blocks that I'm going to need for the HB. So instead of just kind of waiting idly by for that to uh, occur, uh, we're just going to tear apart this wall on the base and try to expand it out a little bit more so we can make some use of it. So uh, I have to get readjusted to the game. Alright, so we'll just do this. Okay, so we got that opened up. I'm gonna leave holes in the floor for now. Alright, so now I need to put these steel blocks in the inventory. And we're going to run this out like so. And the control key to go on a plane like so. Well, that's just cute. Uh, let's just take that out and set that like right there okay so now uh, we'll probably need to take those lights out leave the roof like this I guess just have to match up to it all right so we got this in place let's um bring it out like so So we did walls like a debt. So we will. Alright, we're gonna have to do this. Mm. So we did that. We're gonna have to figure some way to match up to the roof. Mm. We'll figure it out as we go along. <laughs> this is completely like off-the-cuff type stuff. It isn't like pre-planned, which means it'll predestined to fail, but it, at least it'll fail gloriously. <laughs> which is my plan all along, right? Yeah. All right. And you do not belong there. So I remove you. Alright, so we got the corners. We need to get a corner block. Which would look like this. Plop. Plop. Alright, so for this area here... Hmm, actually... Let's 
still doesn't leave us a heck of a lot of room, but I'm not too terribly worried about it. I'll just continue the pattern. Now let's see, where is that corner? Is it like this? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, 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 oh. Get up. Ah. There we go. And that is definitely not the piece I was looking for. So, where are you? That's not the piece. Hmm. I don't want the round one. I think this is it. Nope. That's gotta be hollow. Hollow. So we got pyramid, corner long. Nope. You're probably yelling at the screen, you dummy, it's right there in front of you. And, you know, I'm just kind of like derp. Derp. Okay, um. That's not it either. Uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, well. Ah. <laughs> Just my luck, right? There we go. Okay, so we got that. Doesn't look quite right. I, I'm beyond a semblance of a care right now. Alright, so we now need angled wall. Not yet, but it's similar. <coughs> hmm. I swear, half the time when I'm playing this, I spend more time trying to pick out the right block, and yeah, right there, than actually building. Kind of ridiculous. Got that in. Uh, we got eight blocks left. And it might be just enough to get a roof in. Or not. Mm, and we'll go with that. Screw it. You know what we'll do right there? Uh, let's see, do I have it on me? No, I do not. Somewhere in here. Wrong box. Okay, right there we go. That's more like it. And we we'll just drop a window in it for flavor. Doesn't have to look good, it just has to work good. Alright, so. I keep crossing over to the wrong hitbox. And. to there. Okay. So we got a little bit more room to play with here. That's, uh. let's see. Clone Chamber. Come on, 
what are you doing? Said it. Uh, well, you know. I can't seem to keep myself under control. There we go. Alright, so that does that. Now we got some lights to deal with on the outside. And then before we go too crazy, let's check the air tightness. Okay, it looks like it's airtight, so. Uh, I can't remember who it was who mentioned it in the comments. I did I did see it, I just didn't reply to it yet at the time that I record this. But uh, to turn on oxygen gets things working in here. <laughs> As you can see now it's working. I just I I started playing Alpha 6 without doing the experimental, without watching a whole lot of videos. And so sometimes these little bitty details elude me. So that's something to pay attention to. Now, since we're on an oxygenated planet, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh no, violent decompression. <laughs> All right, so we need to change the light fixture to use that. Is that the right one? Yeah. And then down here, I see we got one around each corner. So we need to make two more lights. So that we have light out on these corners out here. So. Okay. are done. Let's make two more lights. Should be pretty quick. And then we can start working on the HV. Okay. El Dano Grande. Excellent. Excellent. Now, at some point, I may end up expanding this upstairs area. Like, take out this window and do a path out here and then encase this in glass. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. It's not top shelf priority. But at least we now know that the base is airtight. So let's go get a, a little bite to eat here. Uh, go to the fridge. Salami. Okay, we should be good for now. So let's, in this dreary darkness, let's make a thing. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is, let's see, do it. Uh-huh. I see what I done did, or didn't do, rather. I need a, a core block, a starter block. Which is essentially the same thing, essentially. Uh, a hover vessel starter. Badoosh. Yeah, it sounds like it's taken up a lot of resources. <laughs> Yep. And by the way, guys, if you hear a hiss or a hum in the background uh, uh, over my mic here, it's because I got a fan going in here, and it has been murderously hot these last few days, and only yesterday evening and today did we get any real rain. 
So it's cooling off, but when I close the door to this room to make the sound somewhat better, it gets so stiflingly hot that I have to have a fan on or else I just can't breathe. It's just murderously muggy. Okay, so we glued on power there. There is another way to do it, and I'm sure I'll probably hear about it in the comment section. <laughs> but it just visually, for me, it seems more in line with what to do. Doing it that way, or just meme sprinkling it from any place in the base, if you catch my drift. Alright, so hopefully this is producing... Yeah, it's getting close to done. I wish they would fix it so they would stop hanging up on certain construction projects here. Because, like, you just saw a little bit ago, it was hung up on the one copper ingot. The game developers really need to try to see what's causing that. Let's see. Check here. And then come back. Okay. I thought maybe what it would be is you checking one container or whatnot and then you come back while it's still constructing like like that you see it's frozen and then eventually it clicks over so that might be and what did it was I check this and then come back to this okay so right there we, we check this and if you have seen that I checked here in the ammo box and went here, no problem. But I checked the power, and it probably is the same for the O2. And then I come back to here, and it was hung up on it. So it might be a good little note to send to the developers that, hey, you know, that bug that makes things lag up in the construction queue, it's from checking that. Oh, we're going to have visitors. <laughs> might as well button these up for the moment, and... Uh, have a little fun. They'll be here shortly. So let's get that uh, HV base block put in. Um, it's nice and level over he here, I guess. And ample amounts of light. Alright, so we'll leave that there for the moment. We're going to have company. And, and I'm sure it'll be from this direction because that's where the cannon is aiming. And here comes the salad monster. I'm moving these individually because I just don't want to get them all bunched up with this. Try to keep it somewhat separated. <coughs> Excuse me. Here comes another <coughs> the lung butter there. Mm. Freshly churned. Alright, so I'm anticipating they're coming from this general direction. And they'll be here any moment now. The uh, base will probably pick them up before I will. Unless I'm far enough out. So we'll wait at, out here a little bit. Keep an eye on the radar. Ideally, I'd like to have them coming closer to the base, like here on the island, so I don't have to get into the water, but... Oh, we're going to have some fun. They told you they're coming from this direction. Base has detected them before I can. Okay, that one's down. Oh, it's three of them. All this over a little homely... <laughs> That's two. And my turret's probably reloading. I was hoping that that rocket would get that guy. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that sucked. <laughs> I was hoping the rocket would get this guy and not me. Alright, well, let's go get some goodies. At least they're on dry land this time. Alright, 
so we're going to uh what stay down you all right helmet up Try to get across the water here. I'm like Jesus right now. We're running across the water. Running out of stamina. I'm just gonna walk the rest of the way because, well, almost out of stamina. There we go. Helmet off. And I'll go get this other one. And of course, I forgot about the stamina thing. Which is exactly why I was using the shift key to run. <laughs> I don't know about that silver blade fella. He he acts like he knows what he's doing, but mm, he proves otherwise. Kind of a putz, really. Assholes. So that was a thing. The other thing that was mentioned to me in comments was I should be picking up damn near everything, whether I'm going to use it or not. Um, because you get the experience for it. Valid point. I will try to endeavor to remember to do that. Meanwhile, I think there's a critter right over there. That I must kill. Come back so I can kill you. What is that? No, oh, it's a salad monster. Shit. Leafy, go away. Nobody watches your channel no more. <laughs> Okay, so that kind of business is taken care of. Let's get back to building stuff. And I. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta keep remembering to do that, because usually I only grab what I'm going to be needing. Unless it's like fiber, and I tend to grab that just because it's a vital resource early on type of thing. Alright, so I need to dunk that up in there, that up in there. So I got plants down in here, right? Yeah. Okay, so, oops, I need that. For a different container, that is. Alright, uh, refrigerator. And then I got these. So I'll do that. So I got all these goodies I need to dispense. And I'm not even going to worry about the order up in here anymore, because... Whatever. Um, ammo. So we'll just put that up in there. <sighs> Alright, so we get get something started here. I'm thinking, yeah, it aims that way, so let's get the cockpit. Because we're on an oxygenated planet, I'm using the open cockpit. Alright, so we got that started. Now, I want to... Hmm... Okay, we need to get the generator in place and that'll work I guess so there okay and then put see I'm kinda wondering if it's just RCS's in general on the, pl on the thing are fine or it works to find, uh, plant them in specific areas. 
So right now, I'm using the wrong block. <laughs> so I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna stack those in the center, or at least what would relatively be the center. All right. Next up. that. Um, the refrigerator. Just in case we get some uh, critters. So ammo box there. box cargo box there trying to keep it somewhat symmetrical somewhat and also accessible at the same time for this one we'll just hold on to that one because I don't really think we're gonna need well you know what I'm wondering okay so it can go like that hmm yeah we'll just hold on to it Okay, so hover uh, engines go like there, and we're gonna need to extend th this out. And then we can put one right there, there. Alright, so far, so good. And I think we'll leave it at that for this episode, and we'll just continue the build in the next episode. So I hope you'll join me for that. Alright, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do check out the links in the description box below. And, uh, you know, some of you guys have been saying over the last year in particular that you know that's surprising I don't have as many s subscribers as I should have well if that is truly what you believe share my videos uh, pass the word around you know tell your friends whatever but uh, if you really think that my channel is worth watching share it let the world know unless you're embarrassed in that case I can't say as a blame you but anyways <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and until next time See you later. Twitch. Twitch.